The push to advocate for value addition from African countries will be one of the talking points at the ongoing World Trade Organization Ministerial Conference. In an exclusive interview with Industrialization Cabinet Secretary Adan Mohamed, KTN's Abiyagine found out that Kenya was keen to mechanizing its value chain to raise the competitiveness of its product. The Cabinet Secretary further noted that Kenya was currently losing out immensely with the bulk of exports being shipped in raw forms is the backbone of the African economy, employing 65% of Africa's labor force and accounting for 32% of gross domestic product. Despite this, productivity in the sector remains dismal, undermining Africa's overall productivity and food security. We have to do our part to improve the productivity in agriculture, to improve our internal infrastructure and logistics. And then we also have to keep pushing. The continent imports food staples valued at about $25 billion annually owing to unstable food production, supply and consumption systems. The level of value addition and crop processing of agricultural commodities is low and post-harvest losses in sub-Saharan Africa averages to 30% of total production, equivalent to over $4 billion losses annually. So what is the way forward for Africa? African countries must not only have to raise farm productivity, it must also add value in its produce and exports if it wants to get out of the cycle of poverty. Let's really uh, work towards looking into investment opportunities for Africa. Let's ensure that we're coming up with bankable investment plans that can be able to attract our partner. According to the World Economic Forum report, enabling trade can decrease losses and waste and open up opportunities for greater collaboration between farmers, processors, supermarkets and consumers. Therefore, there is need of implementation of actions that can cut barriers and reduce delays, enabling larger volumes of trade, lower prices to final consumers and potentially higher incomes to suppliers in the entire agricultural chain. Ashley Mazuri, KTN Business.